What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in today's video. Yes, this is my part two to my Sephora haul. At this point, the Sephora haul was like, what, two weeks ago? But my last order came, I had the stuff sitting in the box, and I wanted to share it with you guys what I got. Now, it's not even too exciting. I think my first haul was the more exciting one. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out in the iCards after you watch this video. But let's go ahead and dip into what I got on this order. No specific order. I did pick up the Sephora. Oh, it just says Sephora Organic Cotton, but it's like their cotton pads. As we know, the Sephora collection was 30% off. If you've been on my channel, you know I've been using a lot of these makeup eraser type micro, micro soft fiber. I think that's what they call like these towelettes. I've been using that to clean my makeup, but I do still find use for cotton rounds and cotton pads. And the ones that I'm using now currently <laughs> is like almost gone. I done cut the end of the package and that's all I have left. So I said, let me go ahead and throw these in the bag. Very affordable and I do like the sizing on these. I think this is a nice, good size for a cotton pad. So when I do need to get it, I have some. Also in that same realm, I did pick up their organic cotton swabs. Um, I do want to hurry up and burn out one of my mini candles from Jackie Aina. I think they're just too little. I may need to empty out one of my Bath and Body Works and I want to store my cotton rounds and cotton swabs in those. But I do like how this is like a perforated thing so I can open it and take out my swabs like that. So definitely did pick up some cotton swabs and those will be good just to clean up like, you know, makeup mistakes and stuff like that. Next up, which this one is a repurchase. Also, a lot of this stuff is from the Sephora collection. I just figured like I couldn't let that 30% go to waste. <laughs> so I did already, actually it came open, but I did use it since I got that. And this is a repurchase for me. So this is the Sephora Ultra Glow Serum. This is their vitamin C and E glow serum. And I like this in the summertime. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up another one of those. Really did, really do enjoy that serum. So I'm happy to have that back in my repertoire. And I think, oh no, two more things from the Sephora collection. I tried this earlier this week. I can actually put a picture right here so you can see me doing this mud mask. But this is their Sephora Zinc Purifying Mud Mask and it's to clear and mattify, which I'm just now realizing that it said the word mattify and it kind of didn't mattify my skin. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't necessarily need the mattification, but I'm all here for purifying masks. And I tried it and it was not really my favorite purifying mask if I'm going to be honest. I do like the one from Origins and what's that brand? Damn, it's a brand from Ulta that had one. I can't think of it, but if I do remember, I'll put it up on the screen beside me. But yeah, this is just a little purifying mask and, you know, it'll come in handy. And I think particularly more in the warmer months when it gets really hot in the summer then this will come in handy because I don't mind the mattification then but y'all know I'm all about hydration these days okay the last thing from the Sephora collection this one is a repurchase as well this is their waterproof actually it's not a repurchase I had a sample of it I've had samples of this in the past and I really like it this uh, waterproof eye makeup remover is very comparable to the one from Lancome those are the only two that eye makeup removers that I would actually buy so being at Sephora was 30% off I got another one. You shake it up, and I don't know if you can tell, there's an oil at the top there, and then a liquid at the bottom, so you just shake it up before you apply it. Everything mixes together, and really bomb I make it removal, so happy to have that back in my rough with fall. Ooh, this is exciting, okay. So, and I just sprayed so much perfume, but I'm gonna spray this. So this is a little set that they had. This is a Power Duo. This is a Powder Duo from KLE and Huda Beauty. If you didn't know, Huda Beauty makes the K. Ali fragrances and I was gonna order the fragrance by itself but it was sold out. So when I seen this duo, I was like, oh yeah, I said I get a free lippy. You know, I don't think I even have any lip products. This is the only lip product that I have purchased within the whole Sephora VIB sale. So that's growth, y'all, because I be going ham. <laughs> so here's the travel spray that it came with and I love the fact that it is a spray bottle. And I just sprayed so much perfume. I'm gonna spray it up here though. Cause I'm dying to smell this. Oh, did I even tell you this one is the Deja Vu White Flower number 57? Oh. I don't know if I have on too much perfume. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. But anyway, the number 57. 
Um, all of Kaylee's fragrances, they have a number behind it, and the number is how many tries it took to get them to this scent. So this is the 57th time they tried this and they felt like this was the one to sell, you know? That smells good. Maybe a little too floral for me. I honestly thought I was getting the vanilla, but I'm not a huge fan of vanilla, but I don't know. I do want to try more of her scents. I know the, van the vanilla one is a really popular one. And then in that kit, it came with a mini matte lipstick, and this one is in the shade Interview, which I've always wanted to try her lip products. This one is kind of <laughs> super small and kind of light. I don't know. Let me see if I swatch it. That's the swatch of it there. I'm kind of like a mauve shade. My camera won't catch up, so I don't know how it looks. Am I looking crazy? Not so bad. I think if I put a lip liner and stuff, I think it won't be so bad. I'm just gonna leave it on for the rest of this video. Y'all know why I look like this. <laughs> Next up, I have another repurchase. This is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil, which I literally just finished my bonding oil today when I fly ironing my hair today. So I'm so happy to have another one of these. I like to use this. It's like a heat protectant and bond. It, it says it boosts shine, strengthens, and repairs all hair types. So I really do like that oil. I got another one of those. And also from Olaplex, another product that I did use in my hair today. This is the Olaplex number no. 8. This is actually a new product from Olaplex. And it's their Bond Intense Moisture Mask, which says it moisturizes, smooths, and adds body and shine. And I do feel like my hair has a lot of body. I didn't read that before, but I do feel like my hair has lots of body. So definitely stay tuned for a full Olaplex video I was able to film me doing my hair today if you know in the VIB you know the first part of my haul I did pick up the number zero so I use number zero number three number four I skipped number six because it's the conditioner I went in with the mask then I went in with my number five which is the bond smoother then I went in with the number seven and this is the result so if you want to see that process Definitely subscribe to this channel. I have an Olaplex video coming really soon to my channel. Next up, this is something that has been on my loves list forever and I figured, you know, why not? <laughs> so I went ahead and got the Keep It Tonal Nail Polish and this is from the company Nails Inc. And guys, these dudes in this nail polish kit just look like everything to me. So I'm so happy to have that and I'll be doing my nails soon. My nails are looking terrible right now. I just have on clear nail polish because, you know, with me doing my hair, I definitely had to have them manicured. So I just filed them painted them clear and that's what it is. I have to bring Chloe's hair tomorrow too so I haven't been wearing my nails. When I have to do Chloe's hair, I definitely do not wear any of my press on nails. Oh, another fragrance body care kind of item. I have the new Sol de Janeiro Balm Dia Bright Cream. I had to pick this up and I do like the way it smells. I've definitely tried it already. I like the way it smells. I don't know if I like it more than the original but this gives like a totally different vibe than original. It's like still, it still gives that beachy vibe, but this is more sweet to me. Like that one is more like coconut beach vibes and this is more like this flowers blooming beach vibes, <laughs> if you get my drift. But it does smell really good and it's nice and hydrating. Actually, this formula may be a little bit more hydrating than the other one. I feel like this is a little bit thicker in texture than the original Boom Boom Cream, which I love, but happy to have that. I have another skincare product here. This is my first product that I'm trying from this brand. This is the Inkyless Oat Cleansing Balm. It's formulated for all, best for normal and sensitive skin, and it helps to remove and cleanse sensitive skin. So I plan on using this as like a first, especially on days when I wear makeup, I like to go in with like these kind of cleansing balm kind of situations. Right now, I'm using the Juno & Co. Can't remember the name of it right now, but I've really been enjoying that one and I'm almost actually done with that one. So during the sale, I figured this would be a good time to pick up this and try this out. Speaking of cleansing balms, I got another one of those <laughs> freebies with the Pharmacy Green Clean because this one hands down is one of my favorites and anytime I can get it, for free in a sample I always get these so I got one in the last order and I got another one in this order I also told you in the last in the first Sephora order that I had 
picked up the wrong shade, I believe, in this uh, Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. So I picked up the shade 55N now, and I'll definitely be trying these out really soon. So again, 55N, Sephora Collection, 30% off. And then last but not least, the most exciting part. This is at, this actually may be the reason why I went ahead and pressed checkout on this order because I needed this in my life. I told you guys I've been addicted to powders lately, so I did pick up the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder. I picked mine up in the shade 6N. This is 6 neutral. Packaging, everything. Look at that, so pretty. So I haven't even tried this as of yet. Where'd that powder brush go? I haven't tried this as of yet. I don't know if that did anything, but I'm really excited to see how this is gonna set my makeup or if I end up using it as a finishing powder, but definitely stay tuned. You'll be seeing a lot of these, well, probably more of the makeup products on my face really soon, including stuff that I purchased in the last video. Oh, really quickly, by the way, um, LYS, they did restock on a couple of their items. I bought directly from the website, but I know they did restock over on Sephora as well. So I picked up three things from the brand. This, this is their Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. I just got the regular translucent shade. And that's the translucent powder there. Super excited to try that out. I'll definitely be doing a video with the LYS products that I have in my collection. Um, I've been wearing the mess out of that foundation, by the way. Not today, though. Today I have on the Fenty Skin Tint. And, um... This one here is their No Limits Matte Bronzer. I picked up the shade Strength. Very similar packaging to the Translucent. And this is what the bronzer looks like here. Oh, that feels good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that bronzer. Oh, it's more of a red tone bronzer though. Very warm. I don't know if you, hopefully you can see that. It's very warm, but we'll see how it works out when I actually do my when I actually put it on my face. And then last but not least, I have the LYS Highest Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. I picked mine up in the shade Passion. There we go. And that is what Passion looks like there. This is the product that I am most excited about. Look at that blush. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little swatch, nice and creamy. That's what it looks like on my finger. Oh yeah. That is pretty. But it actually reminded me of the cream blush from the Natasha Denona Bloom and Glow. So it's giving me those vibes, which I think I'm gonna like it. So I'm excited to try that out. Definitely stay tuned if you wanna see the LYS Beauty. If you wanna see any other things or know my thoughts on any of these products that I showed in this video, let's talk about it down in the comments below. I'll be sure to be getting up more videos coming very soon. So if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the action. Until next time, beauties, I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. Stay blessed, y'all, and I'll talk to you later.